Hi, I'm Josh Ellsworth with Stalls. For over 80 years, Stalls has been the leader in heat printing. We manufacture the most technologically advanced heat presses along with a wide variety of solutions for heat printing team uniforms. This particular demonstration is one part of a complete tutorial titled Decorating Team Uniforms for High School Athletics. Now to watch that video in its entirety, you can click the link below right now. But if you have limited time and prefer to learn in sessions, then stay right here. This presentation is on decorating volleyball uniforms. To buy any of the products featured, visit stalls.com. And so the next sport we're going to prepare designs for is volleyball. And if you're familiar with volleyball at all in high schools, you know that they're wearing a lot of high stretch garments. And so for that, we're going to lean on uh, the Premium Plus material. And let's weed that out. For the front number, it has to be a four inch minimum. Uh, for the back number, it needs to be a six inch minimum. It does require both a uh, back and front number. For volleyball, your placement of your number can actually be uh, centered or it can be uh, top right chest or top left chest. And then we'll also do a two color application on the white jersey. Once again with Premium Plus, I think Premium Plus is just a good all-purpose lightweight uh, stretch fabric material. If I had to settle on two materials to stock, I would stock Premium Plus for the lightweight fabrics and I would stock Thermofilm for anything you want to leverage the pre-cut numbers for and anything that requires um, die blocking, abrasion resistance. It's amazing with Premium Plus, even on applying two color numbers, it maintains its stretchability. So let's press these on. Now for these slimmer fitting volleyball jerseys, ideally you'd like to thread them on, but you don't want them to be stretched and warped. So that's where the Hotronix Fusion and the Quick Change Bottom Platen is gonna come into play. I'll slide out the 16 by 20 platen and I'll load my 11 by 15 inch, lock it back into place and now you can thread this right on. Preheat. And I'll position my design. And premium plus, eight seconds. This is something I want to show you. This stuff is highly stretchable, so it's going to be really nice looking feel for these volleyball uniforms. Let's do a two color. And the way I've laid this one out, I'm going to need to do some pre-alignment here with both pieces to make sure it's going to lay out correctly where I want it. It's good because I want the name a few inches down, but the name's going to be the second piece I apply. Just 
just going to tack the bottom layer for once again a few seconds. Give it a few seconds to cool down. And release the liner. Trying to keep it from stretching as much as possible since it's a high stretch garment. Uh, the, the less it stretches, the easier to line up the second layer is going to be. Cover it and then I'll press them both together for about 10 to 12 seconds just to make sure the bottom layer is getting uh, the full application and melting point of the adhesive. A few seconds to cool down. Release it. If it starts to lift at all when you're trying to release it, that means you're trying to peel it while it's too hot, especially for two color stuff. So I'm going to let it cool down even more before I release it here. Much better release just by giving it a few more seconds. And since I started to lift the edge, um, if you ever get edge lifting, don't panic. Just stop and let it cool down a little more. And then you're just going to re-press it. Um, for the, the time the material takes, so in this case eight seconds, to make sure I remelt and rebond that adhesive. And now let's do the back. I'm doing these jerseys in a one-off environment, but if I were running a whole team of these, I would know every time that that background needs to be four inches or six inches off, whatever it needs to be. Again, try to keep the background from stretching as much as possible. And volleyball requires an outline of no more than a half an inch. So they don't want you getting too crazy with your offset outline. And you can even let it cool down on press or move on to the next garment and throw it to the side and come back and peel it in a few seconds. It's up to you. You can also peel it when it's completely cooled down if you like. and the two color number stretches and rebounds well as well.